Seventeen. Olivia. Seventeen. For a seven-year-old boy, Devin Carroll faces adult-sized challenges. He has severe allergies and a throat condition. Simply coming in contact with someone who has eaten peanuts could cause him to stop breathing. Fourteen. A traditional classroom setting has never been an option, leaving him isolated from his peers. Seven plus eight equals fifteen. But now a high-tech experiment is helping him get his childhood back. Morning, friends. Yeah. Bringing him into his second grade classroom, his Wi Fi connected robot is much more than a simple web camera. But Vigo gives Devin the mobility to actually interact with his classmates, like here, leading them to lunchtime. It gives him much more of an opportunity than just sitting in the classroom and listening. And the sense of being there makes all the difference. It changed from, well, me not going to school to. Me going to school and being happy. Why does it make you happy? Because I want to be like every other kid. How many of you got what Devin got? Nine plus six, he pays Olivia. The school district got Devin's Vigo after administrators found the $5,000 robot by searching the internet. That's our job, to teach every child, um, to let them reach their potential. So I think any school district could do this just as easily as we did. 14 minus 7 equals... Recently, Devin was hospitalized for three weeks. His classmates made get well cards. Every single child drew him as a boy and not as a, as a computer, not as the Vigo. They actually drew Devin as a, as a boy. That's how they see him. They don't see the machine. They see him as a person. Exactly what Devin's mother was waiting for. With all of his struggles, with all of his sicknesses and all the foods that he can't eat, he still will crack a joke on his worst day. So see, to see the other children see that in him was the best thing. It was like sending your kid off to college, sending him out the door and knowing that you gave him the tools and they worked. His family and his teachers have seen huge improvements in his studies since Devin started using his Vigo. Eight minus two. He still has a teacher at home, but mostly to help him along as he participates in the classroom 10 kilometers away. He says he wants to be an architect when he grows up, but for now, He's just happy to roam the hallways like any other boy. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Buffalo, New York.